This is Amber Bell from Cal Business Solutions. Today's topic is finding records and transactions in Microsoft Dynamics GP. We're first going to use the normal lookup. So for example, if I was looking for a vendor, I could click on purchasing and I'm looking for a vendor, I'm going to click cards, vendor, and I can click the magnifying glass and do a lookup. Now by default, the, the navigation in, and the lookup is going to go by vendor ID. If I prefer to look up by vendor name, I can switch the click the column that says vendor names and then switch that as my default view. Now anytime I go to look up a vendor, the automatic lookup will go by vendor name. One thing to note is that it's still going to, um, if you use the outside type in, it's still going to type in using the vendor ID. This is just helping for lookups. Now in this screen you can actually expand and see more information about the vendor by clicking on this little show details. But one thing you can do is again switch that the default view. The next thing you can do is set up an advanced lookup. So right now by default I could look by class ID type, payment priority, tax registration number, or by a custom sort. I'm going to set up a advanced lookup. To make that change, I'm going to click on administration, and under administration, I'm going to scroll down until I see the option for advanced lookup. I'm going to do a lookup for vendors and I want to be able to look up by their phone number. Click Save and Close. And now if I go to Purchasing and I click on Vendor, if I do a lookup, in my additional sorts I now have by phone one, so I could look for their phone number if they had any. The next way you can look for a vendor or for any records is using the navigation lists. I'm under purchasing. I'm going to click on the vendor list. And this is going to run. And now I can look at a list of my vendors and I can search in here by their name, their ID, their phone number. And from this screen I can look at the vendor, double clicking on there. I can edit the vendor this way as well all different types of ways and I can do this by adding filters where the name will say contains travel and now I have any vendor whose name contains travel and I can jump from here to creating a new invoice for the vendor or from there to editing the vendor. Now last but not least is one of my favorite ways to look up a vendor so let's go back to purchasing and we'll use any window I wanted to look up my transactions by vendor, but all I know is the vendor's phone number. I'm going to put in the phone number. Now this won't work out of the box with GP. It's actually going to use a product from a company called Rockton Software. They have a product called SmartFill. You can set that product to do a search based on any of the fields on your vendor maintenance card, customers, items, etc. So here I am, I put in the phone number auto-filled. Now if there was a situation like that one for travel where there's several that contain the name, I can put in that name here and the system will find that and I can pick the vendor. Now if I put in something where I put in most of the name and there was only one match, I think we'll do a customer just to show you. So if I go into cards, sales, and customer, if I put in part of the customer name and there's only one customer that fits, it'll automatically fill. And that works not just here in the maintenance and not just there in the inquiry. It also works as I'm doing transactions. So that works very well if you're doing something with sales. Let's say we're doing a sales transaction. I'm just going to do a quick quote and show you how quick this will go. I put in my customer. I tab. They want to order a phone. I look at my phones. Oh, they want the green phone. I'm going to say they want 15 of those. I put in my price and go ahead and click OK. 
and we'll give them a price level. On the next line, let's say that they wanted to have a server. It'll automatically fill in that item as well. So as you add your items, this works very well for, for data entry, for sales orders, for purchase orders, and as you can see, it also works for payables. Last but not least, it also works very, very well for financial. If I go into Transactions Financial in general, this again is using the Rockton Smart Fill tool, and the user doesn't realize it's, a, it's an add-on product. It works just perfectly. So we're just going to say re allocate. So I just typed in the word meal right into the field where I'd normally have to put in the account number. I get my meals and entertainment accounts. I can come in here, put in the amount, and I'd be done with that transaction. Hopefully that helps you find a couple ways to make it easier to find your customers, vendors, items, and accounts. For more great Microsoft Dynamics GP tips, visit www.calzone.com tips and sign up for our newsletter.